Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the 2016 U.S. National Drone Racing Championship on Governor's Island in New York. And I'm here with Andy Argenio, who's with the AMA. And what is your role here today, Andy? Today I'm the contest director for the event, and I'm pleased to be here. I'm elated at this event. It's a wonderful day. It's a beautiful island. Most of the fellows that are here are very cordial. We registered nearly 125 pilots today, which was a great day for us in terms of registration. These are young people that are really engaged in the hobby. They have a passion for it. Talking to them, I was getting excited. I mean, I want to buy one of these things right now. Just to get out there and be able to operate it. But one thing I really love about what I'm seeing here is this brings me back to my days, early days in the hobby, when we had a passion because we could build, it was part of the hobby, we could tweak our systems when we built them, and these fellas are doing exactly the same thing. So sometimes when I hear people around the country talking about drones, I wonder, is this really a drone or is this a traditional aircraft, something like all of us fly? Because it represents something without a GPS unit, in, without the capability of flying automated flights, it's low altitude flying, under 40 feet, and, and to be very honest with you, I've been in the hobby since the 19, I won't say it, it's the 50s anyway, you'll figure it out, but in all those years, when I see the safety and the attention to safety that's put into an event like this, I'm very impressed. There's a netting up to protect the spectators. Any of the spectators are not in any of the high energy runs, the straightaways. Everything is designed and laid out for safety and responsibility. And I see the pilots, they walk their course beforehand. I'd like to see more of this kind of stuff in our other venues that we have within the AMA. I think I was also impressed here, Patrick, about the fact that they're going to have several different types of venues. Here. We're going to be looking at 250 class, we're going to be looking at winged aircraft, the winged aircraft I'm really excited about seeing how the crowd engages in that because the aircraft now I think are around 48 inches in height and size so the bigger aircraft sometimes at slower speeds and we can bring more of them more closely together uh, so before the public's viewing I think that's going to play a different kind of engagement and activity for the people that are here. So, I, so far most of the people here I thought were really happy today with the turnout, happy with uh, what's been going on in terms of the setup and the layout, and uh, we're, we're looking for big things. To mention our group, the Academy, I should let you know that we started off last March with about 4,000 pilots that were flying multi-rotor racing and just about now we're approaching 20,000 members. It's the fastest growing area we've seen in the hobby. We think it's going to continue that way because it does represent a hobby, a passion, shared interest and, and that kind of stuff that relates more to what all of us do in the hobby no matter what discipline we're engaged in. So I think it's pretty cool. Andy, that was the easiest interview of my entire career. You didn't let me get a word in edgewise. I did what I usually do. You know what we always talk about. The Italian way is stop Andy from talking, tie his hands, and not a word comes out. And that might have happened today if you just grabbed my hands and held them. All right. Well, Andy, thank you so much. So Instructor. I love you guys. Yeah, you're great. You're great. All right. And from the 2016 U.S. National Drone Racing Championship, this is Andy and Patrick signing off.